Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, I've had some people ask me, is molecular hydrogen truly that amazing? I mean, really that powerful a tool for your health or even for something like athletic performance? And ultimately the simple answer is yes, it certainly appears to be the case. At least that's been my experience and I've been researching this topic and using hydrogen for many years. However, there is a catch. That's what I've ultimately have noticed. And that catch is ultimately, it's really important. I've been learning this throughout the years. It's super important to know how to make the hydrogen water safely because there are ways to make it. Like for example, these little tiny bottles, this is really a wrong way to be making hydrogen water. You're directly electrolyzing water. Of course, it degrades the metal, which means you're gonna be leaching metal into the water. These things don't have the highest quality of metals. I mean, these are made in China. I'm sure China really has our best interest in mind and wants to bring us good health with these type of products. But honestly, they're, they're really not good. Plus, when you directly electrolyze the water, it changes the pH. It's a really bad idea. There is a lot to learn about hydrogen, even things like, I guess, like this guy right here, you know, these hydrogen pills and whatnot. Not a good idea. I mean, in Japan, they found that these things are really not that good. A lot of these ingredients, you really don't want them in your body. It does cause a chemical reaction, leaves a residue. It's just ultimately not a good idea. But if you do make molecular hydrogen properly, if you do have the proper levels the pro and get the proper amount of milligrams per day, if you do have a proper protocol and know how to use it properly, I personally have seen like amazing things. In fact, I, I even, <laughs> I got a list here because there's just so many things that I literally, I know I would forget a lot of them. Like for example, I personally have known people with like arthritis, glaucoma, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, uh, borderline diabetic. In fact, even diabetic people that just have gotten almost like ridiculous, what some people would even call impossible results. Uh, specifically the person with diabetes. I'll, I'm gonna put a link down below for that video that I made before because it's such an amazing video. This lady having diabetes completely dependent on insulin and was able to get off insulin completely even her doctor told her that's impossible. It's just not possible and yet she did it and she documented it. And she ended up writing me because she found my videos as far as how I suggest to make the hydrogen properly. You know, you don't wanna change the pH of it. It's really important that you make it cleanly. It, there, it's actually quite specific. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to do a lot of research. But since I've learned all that, I share that on my video so people actually know how to use hydrogen properly. But if you guys really wanna know, like this is just a little bit. I mean, I, I have a list here of some, some of the things that hydrogen either could potentially be good for, um, there, that there's science about, or even stuff that I've seen personally. And I'll just read you guys off the list because, and this is not even all of it, but there's just so many things. Okay, like yeah, the high blood pressure. I've seen people's high blood pressure personally go away. Their high cholesterol, their diabetes, heart issues. I myself actually had a heart condition for a very long time, over 20 years. And I had to go see a specialist because they literally thought I was gonna need surgery. And after using hydrogen water and hydrogen gas inhalation for a while, I ended up going for a follow-up visit and it was just gone. The doctors were like, what? In fact, this happened to another family member of mine. One of them had glaucoma. And after many years of using hydrogen and having their eyes checked, they, they went to the doctor and the doctor's like, where did your glaucoma go? I mean, it was gone. And this is after of almost over 30 years of having glaucoma, very well documented case. And his doctor was literally like, how in the world is this possible? We're showing you don't have glaucoma. They tested him like three times because they actually thought there was something wrong with the results. So that's another one. Um, obviously it can help things like constipation. I've known people get really good results from Crohn's. Um, of course, yes, the arthritis. One of the more recent ones was chronic fatigue syndrome. Somebody, is, I made another video about that. Absolutely incredible, really, really good results for somebody who's had it, I believe, over 20 years, if I recall correctly. Um, one of the more interesting things lately is uh, lactose and gluten intolerances. Because of the way molecular hydrogen affects gut health, it's actually been absolutely mind-boggling. You know, stimulating certain anaerobic microflora, which Basically, in a very simple way, or a simple way to explain it, is I knew somebody who could not eat dairy, could not eat gluten, and now all of a sudden they can eat those things again. It was unbelievable. Uh, immune system issues, that's been actually incredible for me, actually. And also people who have allergies, I've known again per personally, people who've had really bad allergies, and then after using hydrogen for a while, they just don't have their allergies anymore. 
Um, it's been shown to be very like anti-inflammatory. I have put up videos, I maybe can put a link down below for dementia. They're actually using this technology in Japan right now in medical clinics. And I had a video before on it because they had some imaging, some thermal imaging about what it could potentially do for dementia and the brain and other neurological disorders. There's been some interesting research about how it can suppress tumor growth. So people were asking about cancer, so it is pretty interesting in regards to that because of the way that it can reduce oxidative stress is kind of the, the way that it functions. What are the things that I got here? I got so many. Um, yes, neurological issues, I mentioned that one. The, the possible protection against radiation. This one's been actually incredible. Even NASA has been interested in this because of the amount of radiation that astronauts are exposed to when they go into outer space. Like in a 24 hour period, they have so much radiation. It's literally roughly equivalent to the amount that you would get exposed to in six months being here on Earth. So they've been looking into that. And they've even used like a lot of radiation for patients in Japan who have, for example, like cancer. And then they would use hydrogen in collaboration with it. And the patients would like almost not even get sick at all, have a better appetite. And then not only all that, but they were getting better results and able to utilize less of the chemotherapy. It was, it was unbelievable. That was pretty amazing too. Yeah, they have shown that it's got potentially anti-aging properties. Uh, that's one part. Uh, let's see here, suppressing the tumor growth, like I said. Obviously, it helps with oxidative stress. Uh, this was an interesting one. They did one on lung cancer and they were showing that, see, there's these new blood vessels that grow and they're trying to like spread the cancer. And what it was actually doing was blocking these blood vessels from trying to spread. So it was basically preventing like the lung cancer from being able to spread. That was kind of an interesting one too. Uh, it's really good for skin health. That's one thing that, it, that I've read a lot about. Um, and it, it potentially can enhance recovery time. And that goes for athletes too. In fact, I'm just really surprised that I haven't seen professional athletes using this yet, at least in the United States. In Japan, they did do a study on soccer players and the results were absolutely incredible. I mean, even if you have results, like if 80% of the time something works, that's actually really like amazing in scientific terms. But in, with these soccer players, 100% of them, all of them were able to improve their performance. So that was pretty remarkable. Uh, bladder health. This one's been actually really interesting because again, I've been on hydrogen for years and I have a lot of friends and family that are on hydrogen. And one thing across the board practically that we've seen is that everybody's bladder health gets much better. I mean, I used to wake up, I would say maybe two times, sometimes even three times a night because I'm a big water drinker and I'd have to get up and use the restroom. Now I get up zero times. I never give up, give up. I never get up anymore to go to the bathroom at night. It's almost, it's pretty nutty. In fact, it's kind of a weird story, but basically like even when I wake up in the morning, I'll literally wake up and I'll go and I'll brush my teeth and I'll do all these things. And I still haven't even gone to the bathroom. And sometimes I actually forget. I'm like, oh, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. My, my control is like, ridiculous it's really improved with that not just me but actually a lot of other people that I've talked to um, it also shows that it may protect uh, offer protection for the liver so it's another really good thing you know people have asked about 5g because of also like the radiation I believe that hydrogen can really potentially um, protect against things like that so again it just has so many interesting valuable uh, properties to it and the way that it affects the body it's it's really mind-boggling. It almost seems like a miracle stuff, but there is a lot of science to actually support it. Now let's see here, obviously it's really good for gut health, especially for like the inflammation in the gut. And I'm gonna be making a more detailed video about that one soon due to some requests. Um, how it might potentially protect actually your DNA. Um, your oral health, there has been a lot of talk about the inflammation in the gums and even bad bacteria within the gums. So that's actually been pretty interesting too. Um, lungs, I mean, there's just so many things. It, there, it, this, the list is rather long. In fact, those were just a few things. I didn't actually write down everything. I was mostly sharing also things that I've personally have had experiences with or people that I've actually known who have had really good experiences with. And like I said, I'll put some links down below, guys, so you can watch some of my older videos. But to really, I mean, guess, touch on this question, is it really that amazing, that miraculous? It, it certainly appears so, guys. In fact, I'm really shocked that many people in the medical field don't really know about this. It really kind of boggles my mind. I really think that, I mean, there is so much research. We're not talking about something that some guy just kind of made up or something that someone believes might work. There's a ton of science to support all this. And Japan has been going through it for way longer than we have. They've been learning so much about this. And most of the like most recent data or like cutting edge data, that's where it comes from. That's pretty much where I get my information, including on how to make hydrogen. That's one thing where in the US, they really seem to be far behind. You know, they, they use bad products like these things that I, 
I know personally that I know that they can hurt people. I've seen like, for example, these cause adrenal fatigue for people just because of the way that they leach metals into the body. And you don't want to change the pH of the water. I know there's been a lot of talk about like, oh, alkaline water. It's, it's really basically a myth. I mean, think about it, guys, just for one second. If you were to take tap water and just put baking soda in it, boom, you got alkaline water. Does that mean it's going to do amazing things for your diabetes? Uh, no, guys. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to put my diabetes video down um, below the link because you have to see what it does, guys. It's mind-blowing. I mean, doctors will literally say, it's impossible. It's just not possible. And yet, I've seen it done many times I mean it's clearly possible and it's not even that complicated once you know the answer and so that's why on my videos I always show also how to make hydrogen water properly in fact the device that I use is literally the device that they're using in medical clinics in Japan and it is a Japanese device because the Chinese devices out there I used to like a Korean device out there I, I ended up learning a lot of things about it that really were not good and it kind of is amazing that the majority of these products are not good that's what's so weird is that they have it's almost like multivitamins there's a lot of multivitamins vitamins out there that are probably not really good for you and that's the way it seems to be with hydrogen nobody seems to care about doing it properly granted you know you do get what you pay for and having a proper device like the one I have it's a little more expensive it's nothing crazy but it's a little more expensive than one of these cheap Chinese products but it actually works and that's actually the important part so anyway you guys can I can even put a link down below for the machine that I like to use and the one that they actually use in medical clinics and it is a again it's a Japanese device because they're the ones who have been way ahead of the game and ironically a lot of people don't know this but the device that I use apparently they the people who had a hand in making it a lot of the scientists in Japan who are researching hydrogen um, a lot of the top engineers in Japan that work for you know different companies from like I believe like Yamaha and Toyota and and just some of these really really big companies to develop like the ultimate machine and to be honest it's actually quite inexpensive I mean when you really think about it they're under 2500 bucks and I've seen devices that are you know much more than that and and they're not nearly as good so anyway that's just because it's important on how to make hydrogen because that's another thing you guys, not only is it important to know how to make it, but it's not something that you can really package and just sell at the store. That's what's really interesting about it because hydrogen's super tiny. And you know when you open up like a can of soda pop and all the gas leaves and then eventually it goes flat? Well, here's the thing. Oxygen, for example, is about 20 to 30% larger than hydrogen. You put hydrogen in any type of container, I mean, even one of these containers, it's just gonna go right through it and leave. So if you have it in some type of container at the store, you're not really gonna get the proper levels of hydrogen. That's why it's actually really important to make it yourself. And that's just the hydrogen water aspect. Then the hydrogen gas inhalation, which I'm gonna put links below for other videos that I've done about the inhalation and how it affects the brain and how it can affect your lungs and how it can affect your heart and all sorts of different parts of the body. I mean, it's just mind boggling. I used, to, I used to know somebody who actually had a cupboard full of supplements. And this was actually a person who did have, he had high blood pressure, he had high cholesterol, he was borderline diabetic, he had really bad arthritis, and he had glaucoma. And he had all these supplements and he'd take all these things, and honestly, he still had all those issues. It really wasn't helping him. He had to get, end up getting also on pharmaceutical drugs just because of the pain and a lot of these issues. After using hydrogen properly, what blew my mind is, I really don't like to share this with people because I feel like people will get the wrong idea, but this is the truth of what happened, and I believe that this is just shows how powerful hydrogen is. This particular gentleman did not want to change his lifestyle. He didn't want to change the type of foods that he was eating. He he did he and he wasn't eating you know the greatest foods. He wanted to cons you know he still wanted to consume things like alcohol. He wanted to do a lot of things that ultimately were not good for him. He was also a little overweight and these type of things. But when he was going to get on hydrogen, I was thinking you know you'd probably get a lot greater benefit if you made certain lifestyle ch uh, changes. But he told me he said I'm not going to change anything. I don't, I don't want to give up all these things that I enjoy, but I'm willing to try the hydrogen water. And he did, and lo and behold, the blood pressure, the cholesterol, they ended up normalizing his glaucoma, which took a while though, but eventually he started showing up as not even having it on tests. His arthritis, completely gone. He didn't need pharmaceutical for drugs for that, and he was no longer borderline diabetic. It was pretty remarkable that it worked even with the way that he was, his particular lifestyle, as far as the food he was eating. And honestly, guys, he was just on a regular type of diet, you know, from eating a lot of meat to 
drink a lot of you know dairy to you know a lot of pork and fried foods and alcohol and I mean lots of stuff and to be honest again I'm not sure if I should share this because I never want people to get the wrong idea and think oh I can just you know treat my body however I want as long as I have hydrogen water but what really surprised me is that it still worked in fact it blew my mind because I was thinking is it really gonna work when somebody is living a lifestyle like that absolutely incredible so when people ask is it really really that amazing guys it is but don't confuse it with other things there's been so much confusion about whether like hydrogen being mixed with oxygen that's not the same thing you got to understand that the majority if not almost all of the research is about using pure hydrogen not mixing it there are some benefits to oxygen but they don't hold a candle compared to hydrogen hydrogen is just because oxygen is actually oxidative you got to be really careful with the way you use oxygen you shouldn't be using it regularly we already breathe in about 20 to 22 percent you know oxygen in our atmosphere so that you know oxygen does have its benefits but it's nothing like hydrogen hydrogen is on a whole other level and we're not talking about hydrogen peroxide guys Another thing that people seem to misunderstand, hydrogen peroxide is not even more hydrogen. It's actually more oxygen. In fact, it's another oxygen molecule. So instead of being H2O, it's H2O2. That's hydrogen peroxide, but that's not the stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking about molecular hydrogen, which is ultimately H2. In fact, on a molecular level, what we're talking about is H2O plus H2 plus H2 plus H2. So you're adding H2 and you're, and you're using basically water as a carrier for the H2. The biggest part is to do it in a safe manner where it won't change the pH of the water. You really want to dissolve it properly. You want to use super high quality metals and not directly electrolyze the water. All these things are things that I've educated on my other videos before. I mean, if you guys have more questions about it, post it below and I can try to answer people's questions. But ultimately, I've made other videos showing exactly how to make it safely and properly because of how it can benefit people. In fact, guys, you know, if you really like the video, you know, support the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit the notification button so that way you guys know to get notifications when I put out new videos. But guys, definitely don't forget to share this information. I mean, the reason that I make these videos, obviously I'm really, really passionate about it, but mostly because I myself have really suffered in a major way as far as medical issues. And I told myself a long time ago, if I ever found something that truly worked, because I tried so many things that didn't work, I spent literally a small fortune on all sorts of either different products, or different supplements and things that just didn't work and it was pretty disheartening because I realized that in that industry there's so much garbage out there I mean hence things like this it's just they're just garbage I'm sorry but you know they make products that not only will probably not even benefit you but actually potentially hurt your health and that's the part that really for me personally upsets me because I do care about people and I want people out there to get the right information and I and I think it's so great that we have something like the internet where people can actually get this information from me, for example, where I've done so much research, I've spent so much time, I spent a ton of money trying to figure out the right things and what truly works. And then once I started seeing it work for people that I knew and even for myself, then it was like, okay, this stuff obviously works. And there's a bunch of science to actually support it. The biggest key is that you just have to learn. Once you know that molecular hydrogen works, that's just only part of it. You wanna make sure that you get therapeutic grade hydrogen. Make sure you're getting the proper levels, guys, and that you're using it properly because otherwise it won't work. And that's what happened with the video about the lady with diabetes. She tried to go other avenues. She even tried like the hydrogen pills and she tried other things and it just didn't work. In fact, that even brings me to another uh, video maybe I can potentially release too about somebody who had kidney issues and dialysis and they were taking hydrogen pills. I was like, guys, don't do that because the ingredients actually strain your kidneys. This is not gonna do you any favors. And so if you made the hydrogen properly, then it could potentially you know, help your kidneys and help the body heal. And, and I know that the person who ultimately had those issues saw much improvement or, uh, of doing hydrogen properly. So it's really kind of tricky, but if somebody explains it to you that obviously knows and has a lot of experience and has the knowledge, then this really doesn't have to be that complicated. So anyway, guys, again, Thanks for watching the video. Thank you for sharing it with others. I really sincerely hope that this information will reach others because I personally believe that hydrogen can really change the world. I feel like this is just the beginning. It is something that's truly remarkable. And you know, and if you guys really wanna see something pretty remarkable, uh, if I can remember, I'm gonna also try to put another link where I actually have blood work where you actually see what happens before you use hydrogen and what the blood looks like and then after. So it's 
pretty awesome. So I'll put that down below too so you guys can check that out. And that's it guys for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.